Hello everybody, Rose Thorne here. Good evening. So tonight I am doing part of a react to Foodie Beauty's live stream called Clean and Cooked Stuff with me, I'm Hyper. So let's rewind for a moment. Foodie Beauty did a few live streams yesterday and the one live stream that I covered, part of the one that I covered, she was going on a quote unquote date with Moto Guy, and she ate garlicky spaghetti before her date. And then she drove to the middle of nowhere and she parked her car. Everybody is speculating that what she was doing was a pickup for cola. And this live stream I'm about to cover, isn't it funny that last night she went out, she drove in the middle of nowhere, and she made a connection with somebody for some reason. And in this live stream, she's saying in the title, I'm hyper. Really weird, foodie, that you're hyper because it's obviously not healthy food that's making you hyper. It's gotta be something else. You must be getting that energy from somewhere. So yeah, she's doing this live stream and she's cleaning and she's cooking and all of this that is going on today, I feel that there is something behind it. And the something that I feel is behind it is perhaps Foodie is going full blast with trying to get in good with Natter. I know she says that she's done with Natter. And she said in a community post that she's making changes. I don't believe that to be true. I think she's still trying to be with Natter. And she is trying to show him, look, I can be everything you want me to be. I can be everything that's required. So she's doing these live streams in an effort to impress him in a way and show him, look, I can keep a clean house. I can be a clean person just like Dee Dee. Or perhaps it could be that she's cleaning because, and I've got several theories, so I'm just going to toss them all out there to you guys. One theory is maybe there is an inspection that's going to happen soon so the house has to be clean another angle could be that perhaps she's cleaning because she wants to have natter over at some point another angle could be that perhaps her and pete are being evicted so she has to clean the house before she goes i mean with foodie you just don't know what's going on but one thing is for certain if foodie is in the mood to clean it's not because she's a clean person and she cares about a clean house. There's something else motivating her. She's not the most hygienic person. So what is the real reason why she's pushing herself to clean everything up? Is it to deflect away from the fact that she's been very offensive as of late and absolutely ticking everybody off with talking about the tragedy that happened, the school shooting? Is it because of her behavior not too recently where she was drunk and out of control and playing the pumped up kick song and making the finger guns? Is it because she also ticked off a lot of people talking about United States issues and politics and gun laws and insinuating that those of us in the United States are inbred? It could be all of that. It could be some of that. You really don't know with Foodie, but as I said, if she's cleaning, there's something motivating her to do so. And not because she's a new woman and she's turning over a new leaf. I'm one of those people that I've been reacting to Chantal for so long that I've learned something. That when it comes to foodie, if you're looking for the truth, all you have to do is sit back and wait. Just wait. And you won't have to wait that long. Just wait a couple of days. If she says, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that, just sit back and wait. Wait 24 hours, wait 48 hours and see what happens. Because usually that's when something different happens. If she says, I have blocked Natter and we're not talking, just wait a couple of days because then it will be revealed that she lied. If she says, I've turned over a new leaf and I'm doing healthy eating, it usually takes her about a day or two to break down and start eating fast food etc etc that sort of thing just just before you believe anything that comes out of foodie's mouth 
just take a seat and relax and wait because all will be revealed in due time. So I have been busy with stuff around the house. I have been so busy with foodie stuff that things around the house kind of got backed up. So that's why it's taken a little longer to do this react, but I'm actually glad that I waited, that I had stuff to do because there have been some new developments in the world of foodie beauty. And I'd like to share them with you since we're all here. Okay, so let's start with this. So Foodie Beauty is starting a new channel. As a matter of fact, she has started a new channel. And the channel is going to revolve around shorts, doing like little short clips, little ASMR type clips. You know, if I were someone subscribed to Foodie Beauty on her main channel or a VIB, the fact that she's got another channel would absolutely tick me off because she has not really given any good content for her main channel and her main channel is a source of her income on top of that she's also got several other platforms up and running and with subscribers she has twitch she has a twitch channel she has only fans she has her main channel she has the beezer show uh, goodness gracious, there's like four or five things she's already got running. And now she's got this channel. Foodie's plate is overflowing with different projects that she set up to make money. And yet she's not really produced the content for any of those platforms, as she should, because they're not for free. Every single one of them is behind a paywall. So without even adding this new channel, She's already got so much work that she has to do. On top of the work that she should be doing to better her life, she's got like four or five different platforms that she has to produce content for, and she's not up for the task. As you can imagine, people are not happy with this. So let's go into the comments. Just Stephanie says, yet another channel platform you'll promise content on only to do nothing with. At least this one is free, unlike some of the others. Well, Stephanie, it's free for now. But you can be sure that she's going to set up a paywall because that's just what Foodie does. She doesn't do anything for free. Everything is about financial purpose. She's motivated by money. Let's see. Next comment. Uh, Christina, the Latina says, ah, another channel to stalk Natter's chat with. Yeah, she's all up in Natter's chat. She uses different aliases, but everybody always knows it's her because of the way she talks. Dreadful says, always taking the lazy way out. Love that for you. She's always trying to find ways to make money on YouTube or other platforms without actually doing any work or producing any content. And yet she keeps getting away with it. Barb says new vids every day. It's every day. How are the postcards going? Or the OnlyFans? Yes, thank you for bringing that up, Barb. She has a postcard club that she set up like months ago. And the premise of this postcard club was that she would start traveling. And wherever she went, she would buy postcards for those members and mail them out. But she hasn't gone anywhere and she's not gonna go anywhere. So anybody paying the 10 bucks for the postcard club straight up, you're getting ripped off, but it's your money. If you enjoy being ripped off, then please proceed. But just know she's not going to go anywhere. She's not going to go any place. She doesn't have the money to go any place. She doesn't have the motivation. She's going to just collect the money for that tier. And you're never going to get anything, not a postcard, not a gum wrapper, nothing. Chantal's Wasted Life says, just like the Beezer Show, Case of the Mondays, Eurobees, Postcard Club, Glow Up, Twitch, OnlyFans, Recorded Content, and on and on. You're what's called a future faker, and it's lying. Yep, I agree. No Names Here replies to that saying, every abuser does it. 
They love to make sweet promises of all the things they will do someday, but you have to fully contribute now on the front end. It's always 100% from you, 0% from them. Yep. So Chantal expects 100% of everybody's money. And she does the bare, bare minimum, bare minimum. And she does the barest minimum just so she can say, well, I did content before. If she did nothing, then people could say, well, you've done nothing. So straight up, you ripped us off. So Chantal will do the barest minimum of content for whatever that platform is, just so she can say in defense, oh, well, I did something like three months ago. Chantal, if you have any platform set up, you need to make content, if not daily, at least weekly. Do something new for whatever that platform is, Twitch, OnlyFans, YouTube. So the, having a platform up and, and charging people something monthly and you don't do at least one or two things monthly, you are scamming people. You are ripping people off. Otter Lover says, giving you more money. I'll pass. You're one of the smart ones, Otter. Public Knowledge says, you can't monetize all these channels. Are you still charging people on all the other platforms you abandon? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. People are still sub to her Twitch, still paying into her Twitch. People are still sub to her OnlyFans and paying for that, even though she's done nothing with it. You know, those other platforms beyond YouTube, she's pretty much abandoned them. So anybody that's still, still subscribed to those things, well, she'll take your money, but you're not going to get anything for it. Uh, Fanny V says, definitely not me. I'm never going back, never, ever, says, I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. Agatha says, not me. I work way too hard for my money. There's some smart people in the comments today. I support that. I love that for you, Chantal. <laughs> Electric Slider says, definitely not me. I'll pass. Not another way to give you money to feed your addictions. Yeah, in the chat that she did today, somebody said to her, looks like you need money. And Chantal actually said, yes, I do. So she admitted that she needs money. But here's the sad thing, Chantal, you make over $10,000 a month from YouTube. It's sad that that's not enough money for you, that you've got so many addictions going and you're paying for so many people that $10,000 a month is not enough for you. I can't imagine how you would live if you lived on a regular salary. You would not know what to do with yourself. You really wouldn't. You, you wouldn't know how to act. Proud to be authentic me says, LOL, sure, if I want to literally put $60 down the toilet. Yeah, no, thank you. Not supporting your apartment or you're sorry. Not my job. Yeah, you know what? Thank you for bringing that up. So it's not just Chantal that's been trying to branch out and do more channels and stuff. It's Natter as well. Natter, he has his main channel with over 7,000 subscribers, courtesy of Chantal. He also has the Natty Daddy channel, which he's trying to get monetized. He's got the amount of subscribers that he needs. He just needs the watch hours. So on the Natty Daddy channel, he's been going after different reactors like French Fry Girl, like Gary Unfiltered. He's doing it on purpose. He's screwing with the reactors to get a reaction so he can get attention on that channel and get his watch hours in. Natter, we know what you're up to. I also just heard he's going to start another channel. So he's going to have like two or three channels. Natter, listen, you've got a big channel. You've got over 7,000 plus subs. And if your views and the money on your main channel ain't getting it, then maybe it's not a good idea to start two other channels, bro, because it takes time and hard work to build a channel up. Trust me, I know. Uh, my channel is at 4K right now. And I worked hard for that. But you've got a 7K channel and your content on that channel is not top notch. You need to work on that and then move on to the other ones. But, you know, I'm I'm giving advice. That's just a natural thing for me. I'm, I don't I don't like Natter. I know he's not going to listen to me, but I'm just saying, you know, it, it doesn't make sense to jump to another ship. If the ship you're on is bigger and there's just a few holes in it. 
work on the ship that you're on and get it repaired before you jump onto another ship. <laughs> Nat Naysayer says, I'm willing to subscribe if this is short wearing content. What? Zombie Mom says, Well, should you actually create content on this new scam channel? Well, watch it through reaction channels, not about to give you views. Again, another smart subscriber. There's some smart people commenting here. Lisa Lisa says, Why don't you follow through on anything you say for one month? Try doing that first. You're a talker with zero fan credit. Yep, no credibility. Uh, Jamie Reynolds says, I hope your sheets are in the wash right now. They're not. She's, she, didn't, she said in the live stream today she hasn't washed her sheets yet. How disgusting is that? She peed on her bed, and she hasn't even begun to clean that up. That's just disgusting and nasty. Horrible. Fanny V says, ASMR? Everyone hates the sound you make when you eat, so no thanks. Yeah, I really can't, I can't picture Fodi doing ASMR. I just can't. <laughs> Y'all, I mean, that's got to be the joke of the day. Fodi doing ASMR. Can you imagine her loud, obnoxious, gross self doing ASMR? I mean, I mean, let me just try to imitate some ASMR. Hi, everybody. This is Rose Thor. Today, we're going to do ASMR. I'm going to give you the tinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a soft voice. She doesn't. She's entirely too loud. She could not do ASMR. Good Vibes Entertainment says, oh, you must be running low on money. How about those postcards you were supposed to send out but never did? How about the Beezer show that never happened? Yeah, how about those things? Y'all hold her accountable. The ones, those of you that are paying her money, hold her accountable because you can. You have the right to do so. Obeam says, ha ha, you don't do content on the channels people are already paying for. People, stop throwing your money at this attic. This is insane. Yes, it is. Agreed. Uh, somebody at Cheyenne says, no, nah, I'm good. Lisa says, not me. <laughs> Uh, Barbie girl says more money grabbing man. I hope you get deep flop warm on all accounts. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's see. Uh, Mick cat says no can do. I'm a whitewashed Karen. Remember? <laughs> uh, Susan says no, thanks. Would rather watch paint dry. <laughs> So many people are saying, nope, 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 done, nope. Okay, so there's that. There's the channel, Booty Beauty Shorts. A bunch of dumb people already signed up to her shorts channel. I'm not quite sure how she's going to make money on that. But what else we got here as far as her community posts? All right, let's go here. And because we're going to do those first. Uh, Foodie Beauty says, this is what happens when I try to kiss Buster. He hates me. I can't figure it out. Oh, well. So Buster is Chantal's mom's dog. Buster does not like Foodie. They say that animals, especially like dogs, can pick up bad energy on people. They, they can just smell it. And Buster does not like Chantal. And I can understand why. Buster hates Chantal. Good dog. <laughs> Then she, before that, she posted Majestic BVJ, Chantal. Her name is BBJ. Stop being a jerk and calling her BVJ. It's BBJ. Or if you're going to be more correct, her name was Casey before you started calling her BBJ. And I have to wonder if that's an old picture of BBJ because I'm sure she doesn't look like that now. She looks a lot healthier here. That must be an old picture. Okay, so let's go on to her video, and let's see. Let's start from the beginning. You know what? Forget that. I want. There's one part that I want to do first. Let's just skip ahead to this right here, because you guys are going to find this very, very interesting. Okay, so the part I'm about to show you, Foodie does a weigh-in. 
Now, when she was at the grocery store, she got her blood pressure checked. And when she did her weigh-in, she didn't really weigh herself. She entered her weight at 330-something, which everybody knows is not the correct weight. That's the weight she may want to be at, but that's not her actual weight. I estimate that Fodi is in the neighborhood of 450, 500 pounds. There's no way that she can be in the 330s. No, not with the way that she's been eating and if she gets no exercise. There's no possible way that she could be that low. But she does a weigh in here. So let me just show you what this part says. It take a while. So even if she gets to 300 pounds, it's still healthy for her, you know. Oh, I vaguely remember bringing up a community post. It's not the same BBW King. Oh, it's not? Here I am this whole time thinking it's the BBW King. Yeah, I need to get to 300 myself. I'm going to weigh myself. Well, here's a quick tip, Chantal. If you want to lower your weight, this is really simple. Calories in versus calories out. You got to control your portions. You can't be eating all those nasties and fast food because there's no nutrition in that stuff. It's just the equivalent of junk. You're putting junk down your gullet. And you got to cut down on the Starbucks. Because those drinks you're getting are calorie heavy. You, you don't have to, you don't, you don't just consider the solid calories, but the liquid calories as well. So all that sugar, all of that sugar and stuff with those coffees, that counts too. It doesn't matter if you put 300 calories worth of Nashies in your mouth or 300 calories of a Starbucks drink, it still counts. So if you're eating a Nashi or two Nashies, and two drinks, you are already over the max limit of what you should be getting per day. I'm a 51 year old woman. I'm at 130 pounds right now. And my max calorie count for the day is about 1600, 1800, 2000 calories, depending on how active I am during the day. You're five foot. And you are about 13, 14 years younger than me. So you should be kind of in that eight, that range too. You have to be eating about four to 5,000 plus calories a day just to maintain the weight that you're at. You drop weight when you decrease the amount of calories per day. At the weight you are right now, you could easily drop pounds if you just decrease the amount of calories that you're consuming and not eating before bed. That is always like the worst decision to eat right before bed. And, and I'm not yelling at you for that. I used to do it. That's a bad habit. Sometimes you just get hungry and you're sleepy and you want to go to bed. It happens. We all do it. But you eat and then you don't exercise. You don't go walk. So you're putting in all those calories, but you're not burning them off. Do you see? So if you want to lose weight, you've got to decrease the calories. you got to cut out all the junk. You've got to eat more nutrition. The reward is if you eat more nutritious foods, you'll have energy naturally you won't have to sit there and do all that cola just to keep your eyes open can you guys see Something interesting, Booty has one of those scales, or she did, that it's a talking scale. I've heard that that scale, before you get on, it says ready. And then it says the amount of your weight. So I don't know if she has a talking scale still in this live stream. Is she using a different one? But in the past, Booty has messed around with her scale. Pete's even said in one of his live streams that when Foodie gets on the scale, she will scale back the number by 70 pounds. I actually think it's more. I think because she's been putting on weight, she may be tearing the scale back to about 80 to 100 pounds. But let's watch anyway. Three hundred thirty-seven. Let me do it again. Hello. 
see why it would change. Well, because so okay. The one thing that I am noticing. So she was over in this area doing the scale, right? Now she's doing it over here. Why did she move the scale? Why is she doing it in two different locations? Why did she move the scale back? Weird. How can I be skinny? Okay. Hi, Rue. Three. Okay, that's too much. Apparently, you lost weight in the past 30 seconds. I know, right? That just shows how. See, there must be something going on there. So the first time the scale said 337, now it's saying 335. What's going on? What is she doing? Why is it that when she does these weigh-ins, she always does them from far away where we can't see her feet on the scale? Like a full-on body shot. Why can't she take her phone and carry it with her to the scale and point the phone down at the scale number? Like, what are you hiding, foodie? <laughs> They think that you set the, the scale to 70 pounds under. I wouldn't know how to change the, uh, the scale. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. So, did you catch that? She says like, that the scale is 70 pounds off. So, let's do some quick math. If the scale is saying 337 pounds, add 70 pounds to that. That would be over 400 pounds. That would be closer to her true. As I said, I think because she's been gaining so much weight, she might be pulling the scale number back even further than 70 pounds, but 337 pounds plus 70, that's 407 pounds. She's over 400. Okay. Hi, Vegas doll. Hey, golden girl. Hey, Ariel. I'll wait my turn. Actually, I just didn't mess up the way to go. Let's see if the scale is Nope. Uh, Y'all, I know that some scales can be messed with. Apparently, Chantal bought a scale that she can mess around with a number that's not a true number. I still stand by the fact that I think that she's 450, 500 pounds, not just based on how she looks, but just by tallying up all the calories she eats in a day. She'll eat between five to 6,000, sometimes 7,000 calories or more a day. If there is one pound of fat in 3,500 calories, that means she's gaining between one to two pounds every day, times that by a month, that's between 30 to 60 pounds a month. How in the world can she be at 337 pounds? When she was with BB, she did a weigh-in, a true weigh-in when she was with BB. And she was 362 pounds then. And I do acknowledge that when she was doing the cola pretty heavy, she lost 70 pounds. She lost it because of all the cola use. You can And you could see that she was losing weight. There was more cheekbone. You could see more of her ears. She's put all that weight back on and more, much more. Uh, it, when she does the arm wiggle, the, the arm fat that hangs down, it used to be really loose. Now it's much more filled in. It, it's not quite so loose. There's no way that she can be 337 pounds. Sorry, I don't believe it. If that is true, I will eat Natter's dirty, disgusting baseball cap with some salt and pepper. That's how sure I am that she's lying. And I don't understand it. Foodie is catering to the feeder fetish people on her channel. If she wants to make good money with those people, if she were honest about her weight and said, look, I'm 500 pounds. If she took the filters off, the feeders would love it more. But she likes to live in two worlds. One side of her wants to believe that she's smaller than she is. The other side of that is she wants to cater to the feeders and cater to those feeder fetish people. So, you know, it was weird. So let's go back to the beginning um, and react to this. See, now that I 100% know I've been lied to this whole some chicken stew. <laughs> 
I didn't intend that to rhyme, but it did. Hi, Daddy. Oh, Dolly. Welcome to Mary Boy Beezers. Ready, set, bees. The mayo on Chantel's chin. Bonita, Kermit. I'm excited to see you guys too today. I need to have breakfast and coffee before I do anything. I literally like woke up. Um, I had trouble falling asleep. I fell asleep at like, what time did I fall asleep at? Is there a reason why her dishwasher door is open? I mean, this is her live stream. She can tidy up her kitchen before she starts this. She can do her live stream anytime she wants. Why not get all your housework done, foodie? Get everything you need done and then sit down and chill with everybody. It's like nine in the morning. <laughs> I was watching. I was watching Catfish Scammers. That fucking channel is amazing. Have you seen it? It's like catfished and it's like exposing all of these romance scammers. You know what, Foodie? You're a catfish and you're a scammer. You, ma'am, with all of your heavily edited Photoshop pictures. You know, putting them on whatever dating single sites. And those pictures are not you. They're not the real you. So you're catfishing people. And as far as being a scammer, you're a scammer. Yes, you are. You're a scammer. You got like four or five different platforms running. You're charging people money for content they never receive. Yet you won't do the honest thing and shut those platforms down and just focus on just one and two platforms and build them up, then open them back up. No. So you're like, oh my God, I'm watching this program about scammers and catfishers. You're a catfish and you're a scammer. Natalie, I remember you. Yes, Ariel. No, I don't feel guilty seeing motorcycle guy. Now that I 100% know I've been lied to this whole fucking year about being cheated on and I know you're gonna think I'm stupid and I am <laughs> but oh, my chest has been hurting I don't have to get my other puffer the one with the steroid because it just feels like it's like you can't get enough air like you can't expand your lungs to get enough air is what it feels like I might find smoothie bees well you've not exactly been helping yourself with your breathing by smoking the green sticks you know, it's it's amazing to me that you complain about your breathing and yet you smoke the green. And just the other night you were drinking. I mean, you're doing everything wrong for your breathing condition. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna eat breakfast and then like I'm just gonna like putz around and clean up and cook and eat and just fucking chat, whatever. <laughs> what channel? I think it's called Catfished, the channel. Go on my community post. There's a link to one of the videos. What am I going to do with the museum passport? I'm going to eat well. I don't really feel like going to Montreal anymore. Maybe I can sell it to somebody. Oh, no, I can't. I don't know. Like, maybe I can, like, still go, but with, like, someone else. <laughs> like, Pete or... It sounds like I'm getting a cold now. My voice is just low. Kermit. Yeah, and you, something with Foodie. When she does the cola, you know, it bothers your throat. Like you get that drip in the back of your throat. Anybody that's ever watched her live streams notice that every time she goes and she parties with Natter, then she comes back. Her throat is always a mess. Sometimes it's more worse than others. There's been many occasions where she'll go off with Natter and come home and her throat is so messed up that she's sitting there eating all kinds of ice cream and drinking cold drinks. And she always sounds like she's stuffed up. And isn't it something that she went off last night and she met up with Mr. Moto guy and she's hyper today, hyper. She's hyper and she sounds stuffed up. Hmm. Hey, foodie. I used to work with somebody who was into cola and I never did it, but they did. So I noticed that person when they were 
the next day after doing cola, they were always stuffed up. They sound like they had a cold. Within a few days, it was fine. I've been watching you do it. And you're doing it today. You did some cola last night. You're probably doing it today, allegedly. But there must be a reason why you're hyper. It's not because of the food you're eating. Light rabbit. I don't know if I'm going to go out today. Maybe later. Yeah, triggered Andy. The cheese. The right cheese. Take Pete's to Lachine. I don't think so. Ugh. Actually, I got to put my dishwasher back on because it didn't do the job. Because these are cheap ass. I have a whole bucket of these now and I don't know what to do with them because they're freaking useless. What is it? Is it a bird that you might crack? What? I'm trying to look YouTube. I'm just gonna put a disclaimer right now. It looks like one of those detergent pods. All you do is just pop the pot in the thing, slide the door done, and you're you're done. You can't figure that out, foodie. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fruit. Go take the meds. So, yes. who wants to take a bet how long this healthy, clean, I'm changed now foodie is gonna last? I give it about two or three days. That's it. She's gonna she's gonna revert back to her old ways because you cannot heal in the same environment that you hurt in. She's at home. She's not an inpatient facility where people can watch and monitor her. She's got access to whatever she wants. She can go wherever she wants. You cannot heal in the same environment that you hurt in. It's just not possible. I feel weird just worrying about myself. Like, not like, oh, I need to look at apartments, blah, blah, blah. I just feel like relaxed, stress-free. I think that the apartment hunting has been abandoned for now. Maybe she and Natter looked at different places, maybe because of her bad credit and because of lack of money, they cannot get a place. So it's been put on hold for the moment. But in the meantime, I think that all of this going on today is her trying to show Natter, look, I'm a changed person. I'm not dirty anymore. I'm eating healthy. She's trying to be more attractive for Natter. She hasn't given up on Natter. She is just, she's trying a different tactic. She knows that by butting heads with Natter, she's not going to get anywhere. She's been trying for a year. So she's trying to subtle, manipulating, sweet approach. There won't be a case of the Mondays today. No. <laughs> I need like another week to get my life. I need like another little bit to get my life on track and just. Probably just gonna do content of getting my life on track and like whatever right now. I cannot handle anything. Oh. It's me. Oh, fruit gives you heartburn, really? That's not much that gives me heartburn. Hi, Sam. I don't want to see your eat. I'm okay. I don't want to see the cats. I look like a bird when I do that. Plus, they price. How do they expect people to live off that, really? I look like a bird when I do that. Plus, they price everything that's delivered higher than in store. Oh my god, how did I notice that? Like when I ordered gas, okay, this, for example, this is why I'm, okay, gas station snacks, I didn't notice this. I never checked the prices on the actual individual items until recently because I'm like. That's her humble bragging about how much money she makes. Oh, I never check the prices of anything that I buy. She's humble bragging. I make so much money that I just don't check to see how much anything is. It's not the flex that you think it is, foodie, when you're spending so much money that before your next paycheck you're broke that's not the flex you think it is well i need to right because if i don't make changes that nothing's going to change if i just keep like going to the store and just buying whatever i want and not even looking at the price or like even trying to find a cheaper option so 
like basically I want to live within my means. It's not that I don't have money because I do earn a pretty decent income. I don't make $20,000 every month. There was a couple months I did make really good. That was like probably the highest, but on average, I make like less than that, but I still make a decent income and it's not that I don't have you. You make more than you deserve. You make more than a decent income. I mean, you make at least 10 K. Ask anybody that watches you, anybody in your audience, anybody who's a reactor, could you live on 10 grand a month? We'd say, hell yeah, we can live on 10 grand a month. We could take part of that, pay necessary bills, buy groceries, put the rest into savings. It's amazing that you make that money and you don't have anything saved and you have nothing to show for. You don't even have a car that's completely paid off. One that's in good condition. You've ran it ragged. The money that you make, your life should be much better than what it is. Money is that I don't live in my means. Nope. I don't nope. live within my means. Nope. I'm very irresponsible. Yep. And like, if I don't address it now, it's just going to destroy my life. So but too late. Your life is already a mess. Can you fix it? Yes. Are you willing to fix it? No. Because you're impulsive. Because you, you look for the quick pleasure, quick self-gratification. You know, you go shopping, you buy way too many edibles. You spend three three thousand dollars a month in food. That's insane. That's insane, booty. Three thousand a month are probably just as much on edibles. That's too much. And while you're talking about yourself, about this self-care thing that you're trying to project to people, why don't you start with your cats? Get them straight. Take them to the groomers. Take them to the vets like they deserve. Fix them up. It won't take that much. It really won't. One vet a one visit for the vet a piece for each cat. One visit to the groomers. You know, it's not going to be a monthly thing. Why not take care of them? And get a subscription for pet food and pet supplies. It, that won't be that much. And then you won't have to run to the pet store all the time. Oh. And I certainly can't afford to fund a whole fucking other adult person. So that out of the way. We'll uh, you're already funding another adult person. His name is Pete and he's upstairs in his room. He needs to get his butt a job now. It'll be a big fucking relief. Just going to say that. I think I'm going to have a right to. So anyway. Put a few hair fibers here and there. Maybe get like a cute pixie cut and put fibers. Or maybe a bonded wig topper like that guy was saying live in your means like as long as you know what I mean so you could be making like 3000 a month and as long as you your bills are okay with that like if you have a rent that's low or you're splitting rent with somebody and you live within your means you know like if you make 3000 a month and then you go and rent like a $1500 condo yeah you're not going to you know what I mean like like 50% of your rent. So it's just like learning things like that, how to be more financially responsible and stuff. It's just a pain in the ass. I hate all that mundane crap that makes life bearable, I guess, that we have to do as adults, right? I don't want to hear her bitching. And I'm sure everybody watching my React video, you, all of you watching my video, I'm sure that you have regular jobs, you have lives where you're not making 10 grand a month. Are we tired of hearing her bitching? I mean, she's making 10 grand plus a month. And that's just on YouTube. There's not That doesn't count what she's making on OnlyFans and Twitch and whatever else. She's making well over 10K. And she's complaining about, I'm, I, you know, I got a budget, blah, blah, blah. She would never know how to live an ordinary life with an ordinary salary. She would just be flummoxed about what to do. Those of us that have ordinary lives and ordinary jobs and ordinary paychecks, you know, we learn. It's an adult skill. You learn how to budget and you don't live outside your means and you take care of yourselves. And Booty's over there being 38 years old and she's on YouTube and she's making all the money that she makes and she's been foolish with her money. You know, her all this talk about budgeting, I seriously doubt that she's going to put that into effect. She's far too impulsive and she's not willing to grow up. She's like a bigger version of Peter Pan. My bowl, yes. 
everything, everything, everything. You're right. And that's why I always like, I made it a promise to myself never to, because I still live with the guilt of what I did to BB. Like, I feel like a shitty piece of shit for that. I was, you know, like he doesn't deserve that. So I think he suspected more what's going on. I never wanted to tell him about it. I couldn't um, just how heartbroken he was. And then like, one day we were watching a movie and it was a movie I had watched with like somebody like the guy was having an affair with and he was like, when did you see this movie? And I was like, with you. He was like, no, you didn't. And he was like, really like, you didn't see this movie with me. And I was like, oh, fuck. But I, he just let it go. I don't think he cared near the end. I don't even think we were in love with each other near the end anyway. But I do still care about him as a person and still have love for him as a person because he's a good guy. Like he was a really, really good guy. Too good um, for you. Way too good with like attention, I guess. Foodie, did it ever occur to you that your constant need for attention is suffocating to other people? Did it ever occur to you that you need too much attention? Did it ever occur to you that your need of attention is so narcissistic in nature that? It takes over not only your life, but the life of anyone that gets close to you, like it interferes in their happiness. It does. You know, you're an energy vampire. You need attention all the time. That's why you're always doing these live streams and you refuse to do edited videos. I remember reading somewhere on the farms that you had a fit, an absolute meltdown over the fact that BB was just ironing his shirts for work. And you want attention right then and there. You couldn't wait until that man was done ironing his shirts for attention. You want it right then and there. You're like a, a toddler. Give me attention now. And he just wanted to iron his shirts. That's it. He was just ironing his shirts. He wasn't away from the house. He was right there. And you threw a fit because he was just taking care of himself. You know that thing that you don't do? He was being an adult. You need attention from everybody all the time. You want the spotlight all the time. And you never consider how other people feel and what they want and what makes them happy. It's all about you, 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 and you. You're a narcissist. It's all about you. Well, guess what? If you have any relationship with somebody, whether it's friendship or a love relationship, it's not all about you. It's about other people too. You're not the most important one. You gotta consider other people how, how they feel and what they want and what makes them happy. If you ever hope to have any kind of relationships with anybody. I don't know. So I just got really bored with the video game playing and you know, and he probably got bored. I was in my room all the time eating snacks from the friggin' uh you buy downstairs, and then, you know, be real fucking drama. No, I haven't talked to BB yet. I will say this. If you're in an unhappy relationship where you're living with somebody and there's no emotional, physical connection, there's what that leads to is an extreme disconnect where you unplug from the other person and you just, you disconnect yourself. You separate yourself from that person. And it sounds like you and BB were doing that to each other. He played his video games, maybe to disconnect away from you, to focus on something that made him happy because you weren't making him happy. And you focused on food. You two were unplugged away from each other. But even if he wasn't playing the games to get away from you, that's something that he enjoyed. I mean, the man worked hard. He worked hard all day. Let the man enjoy his video games if he wants to. You are enjoying your food, so you can enjoy your food, but he can't enjoy playing a video game that he paid for. Again, you're selfish. I have to have a conversation with him. A very hard one. Big question, Foodie. Let's just say you got on the phone with BB right now. And you said to him, there's something that I have to confess to you. When you and I were together, I cheated on you repeatedly. What is that going to solve? What's that going to do? 
all you're going to do is hurt that man further. If you care about him, you won't tell him. It's bad enough that you're revealing it here on your live stream in front of all these people. They don't need to know. That's personal. You shouldn't be revealing that here. You shouldn't be talking about it. You should keep it to yourself and discuss it with BB if you're going to discuss it with anybody. But honestly, it, it's nothing good is going to come from you telling him that after so long. What you're saying right now should have been talked about ages ago. You should have had a waking moment where you said to him, look, I did you dirty and you never knew. And I feel bad about it. It's been years. How, how much guilt are you showing by revealing it years after the fact? None. None. It just looks like you're trying to find a reason to talk to him. Okay, Cornwall. Why are you even unblocked? Babe, hey. I'm a ride or die for my friends until I get screwed over, then you're dead to me. Yeah. I mean, it depends. Like, oh, look, look who's in the chat. RSN. Dude, stop living. Will you stop licking Chantal's butthole? She wants nothing to do with you. You're trying to ride on her butt for views. Get out of her chat. You don't really like foodie. You're just looking for someone to milk for views, bro. Like the situation, but being screwed over, like to the extent, like just lied to and just not. I should have told him first, I know. Yeah, you should have told him first before you brought it to your channel. See, and this is why people have a problem with you wanting privacy. Your want of privacy is selective based on your mood. I don't think you really want privacy in anything because you reveal everything to us. And then you get mad at us for commenting on what you decide to make public. This is a personal thing that happened between you and BB. You should talk about it with him, away from your audience. It's nobody's freaking business. You're choosing to make it everybody's business. I know. I did that really backwards. I thought of the after. I'm like, so stupid. Porn 12. <laughs> I can't marry peace. We have no attraction to each other that way, I promise you. You're so cute. I'm like, not attracted to Pete, but trust me, Chantal, he still loves you. Everybody can see that. I'm not saying that's a reason to get married to Pete or be with him for life. I'm just saying you may not have feelings for Pete because you're looking for a challenge, but obviously Pete has some sort of love for you because despite all that you've done to him and you continue to do to him, he hasn't ratted you out. And trust me, he could. He could make a whole bunch of videos on his channel, dropping all the tea about everything he knows about you, make a shit ton of money and run, and he hasn't done it yet. Let me make you happy. No, it's okay, Langello. It's not a bad rumor she's getting married. It's just, no, I don't, she's not getting married. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah. I think there's just a problem with like the reservations in general everywhere, you know, like American Latina Linda. Hi Chantal. Hi Chantal. A real partner helps make you the best version of you. Right. Make you thrive, give you strength. That's on top of your self love. That's loving you. Yes, absolutely. That's why I posted that that quote by Will Smith when he was talking about women to like maybe not the best example of loving people or whatever. I don't know. But I mean No, I cleaned some of my house. I'm going to be cleaning my house, too. I'm cleaning my own house. Why couldn't you clean the house and then sit down and talk to people? I mean, this live stream went on for two and a half hours. It didn't need to be this long. You didn't really have much to say. You could have spent about 15, 20 minutes talking to people, done that for a live stream, and then used the rest of the time to clean your house and do content. You could have done an hour talking to people, posted it up, Use that hour and a half for something like maybe washing your bed sheets, 
the ones that are still on your bed that are soaked in urine, ew, you could have done a whole bunch of things. But no, you got to turn on your camera, run up the meter for all that Google AdSense money before anything else gets accomplished. Anyway, Charlotte's going to it will make me feel a lot better if I do it myself. I know it. And I need something to focus my brain. I need something healthy. It's going to be torture, and I'm not going to feel like doing it. Like, these walks. And I'm trying to retrain my brain to, like, receive pleasurable responses from healthier habits. And it's torture at first because I just want a fucking wheelchair. And I can't sleep. I'm back to going and falling asleep at 9 in the morning. But I'm not ordering a wheelchair. I'm not doing it. You don't need a freaking wheelchair. If you need edibles, just take a small amount, Fody. Very small. You don't need that much. Eating a thousand milligrams is stupid. It's ridiculous. Nobody, nowhere takes that much but you. You're not terminally ill. You don't have a terminal illness. You're not sick. There is no reason you can come up with that would make sense to take a thousand milligrams at one time. That's ridiculous. You're wasting your money. You look stupid. Nobody nowhere needs that much. A little goes a long way. Four ball ice cream. What real fucking drama? Uh, I'm not going to go on any panels. Okay, so this super chat. Telling BB about an indiscretion you had while you were with him is only going to make you feel better and will just hurt his feelings. Agreed. It will. <sighs> Not now. Telling BB about an indiscretion while you're with him is only going to make you feel better and will hurt his feelings. I know. Why doesn't she have her glasses on? She needs her glasses on. She look at her squinting. Read her glasses, foodie. Check them out. That's what I mean. Like I don't know. That's why I haven't told him. Like, should I bother? No. He probably knows. No. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah. That is a, like a good friendship I'd like to keep with like a YouTuber, you know? And Amberlynn, I love Amberlynn. Talk to her. I haven't messaged her in a little while now, actually. Okay, so that's as much as I want to show of this particular live stream because there's really not a whole lot to talk about beyond here y'all get the gist of what's happening today so i hope you've enjoyed this react video and if you have please like and subscribe leave a comment i've still got some housework that i have to do that i'd like to get done before midnight so thank you guys for watching and have a good day bye bye mm -hmm.